couple days ago my remix of Play by Alan Walker, K391, Tingovag and Mango was released. It's an official remix and Alan Walker even played it at Lola Bulosa Berlin, which looked something like this. I was there as well and I have to say it was pretty amazing to see all those people going well to my music but without further ado today I'm going to show you how I made that remix. Since I only had 3 days to make this remix I had to came up with ideas pretty quickly so I started by remaking the chord progression of the original track which sounds like this. Then I had to find a melody which I could use in the drop and after trying for a couple of hours I came up with 4 possible melodies. This is the first one. It worked but I thought it could be better so I tried another one. Still not good enough so I came up with this melody. This one is actually getting closer to the final melody, which sounds like this. So what I would advise when making a new track or a new remix is trying out a lot of different melodies and not just settle with the first one. What I always do as well is asking my friends which ideas they like and which ideas they don't like. Because it's nice to get feedback from people who can listen to your melody with fresh ears. Ok, so I had my chords, I had my melody, now I just had to find the right sounds to make a cool hardstyle remix, which sounds like this. For the lead I layered 8 different sounds, which is actually a lot, most of the time I use less layers but in this remix it worked pretty well. All the sounds are from silent one and this is the first layer. This is the second layer. It's a preset from the Code Black preset pack which is a free pack with a lot of good hardstyle presets. The third layer is a higher solid to fill up the high frequencies a bit. And then I added another solid, which sounds like this. And for the sixth layer I used the same sound, but this one plays the melody an octave lower to fill up the mid frequencies a bit. You can achieve this by going to the settings menu and right click an octave lower on this piano. I did the same for the next two layers, which together sounds like this. And finally I added the lead from a vandalism pack. So if we play everything together it sounds like this. I also added these slide notes to the melody which makes the melody slide down. You just have to make sure that every layer has the same portamento setting inside silent one. In terms of processing, I routed every layer to the same mixer channel, which has all the processing on it. In this example, I don't have any processing on the individual layers themselves. I only pan some layers to the right and some layers to the left to make the fill lead a bit wider. Without processing and without the reverb and delay channel, the lead sounds like this. I first added an EQ to get rid of any low frequencies and to clean up the lead a bit by removing some of the mids. Then I added a compressor, it's a CLA-3A from Waves and I really like that compressor because it makes the lead a little bit more clicky. Next I added some saturation to make the sound a bit more full and then I added the transient processor to get rid of the loud transients caused by the compressor. Finally I added an EQ to remove some of the annoying high frequencies and with all the effects, the reverb and the delay, the lead sounds like this. Okay. 
As you can hear, there is a lot of reverb on this lead and I use some parallel processing for this. This means that I send my fully dry signal to a new lead channel, but I also send the same dry signal to a reverb channel. This reverb channel has a 100% reverb on it. Doing it like this, it allows me to individually process the reverb. For example, I use an EQ to cut away some of the low and the mid frequencies of the reverb and I also sidechained my reverb with the dry lead as an input. So whenever the lead is playing, the volume of the reverb is lowered, which results in a more clean mix. Moving on, I added some chords, which are playing the same rhythm as the melody. I used Silent One and Nexus again and for the processing I did pretty much the same as what I did for the lead. I used some compression, some EQ and then I sent them to the same reverb channel as my lead. The lead together with the chords sounds like this. The only thing that was missing for me was a clicky sound so I added this sample. And together with my lead and the chords it sounds like this. Now we have the main sound, but we still have to fill it up with some more ambient sounds. So the first thing I added is this pad. I used Silent One for this again, and I cleaned up the mix a bit with some EQ. I also have a Kickstart plugin on it for sidechaining, but it's deactivated now because this pad only gets sidechained in the drop. Next, I added a violin and a choir, which are playing the same chords. I used Nexus for the choir and another Nexus for the violin and I also panned the choir a bit to the left and the violin a bit to the right to make it sound wider. Then I added a plug which plays the chords as well. It's a patch I made in Silent One and I added an EQ to remove some of the low frequencies and boost the high frequencies. I also added an OTT which makes the sound a bit more full. The next sound is a bass line which plays the same rhythm as the melody and sounds like this. The funny thing about this bass line is that it is just the default sound of Nexus and I'm pretty sure every producer will know that sound but for me it just worked well as a bass line. Then I added an ARP from Synthmaster 2 which sounds like this. In combination with this ARP I also added a second ARP which plays a much slower pattern. If you play everything together, it sounds like this. There is only one thing I haven't mentioned yet and that's this piano. It's not really that noticeable in the mix, but it plays a harmony of the original melody and if I turn up the volume, you'll hear it better. I really love this, it's definitely my favorite part of the remix. Now we have all the sounds, so we can move on to the drop. So this is how the drop sounds. It's definitely the most important part of the track. It's a part where people go wild, just like me and my friends when we heard Alan Walker dropping it live in Berlin. So it has the same layers as the previous part, but the bass line is replaced by a hardstyle kick, which sounds like this. I made this kick once in Ableton 
and making a full hard cell cake is pretty hard and pretty time consuming so I won't go over the full process now but I've made a video in the past where I show how I make one of my hard cell cakes. I will link the video in the description. As you can hear this kick takes up the whole frequency spectrum so to mix a kick with all these other sounds I had to use some tricks to make it work. The first trick is applying some sidechain. So I have a sidechain channel where most of my synths go through and I used LFO tool to mix the transient of the kick a bit better with the leads. I basically cut away the first milliseconds of the synths every time the kick is playing. On top of that I used an other LFO tool as well to create even more breathing room for the kick. If I turn off these plugins it will sound a bit more messy. Another trick is to apply an EQ to all the sounds except for the kick. This EQ cuts away all the low frequencies and some of the mid frequencies to make even more room for the kick. And finally I added the guitar to give the drop a bit more emotion. It's really subtle in the mix but all these small sounds add up and will eventually add more soul to your drop. If I solo the ambient sounds you have a very interesting soundscape. Now I am going to show you how I made the breaks starting with the intro which sounds like this. For the guitar I used a preset from the Nexus guitar expansion pack and I did quite a bit of processing on it. Without any processing it sounds like this. And with processing it sounds like this. I started with an EQ to get rid of some low frequencies and mid frequencies followed by a guitar rig 5 which is a guitar distortion plugin. Then I added some Valhalla room to add some reverb and I added an OTT to compress the sound a bit. Next I cleaned it up by adding an EQ and cutting away some of the harsh frequencies followed by a stereo enhancer to make the guitar mono. The reason why I did this is because the guitar rig 5 made the guitar sounds a bit weird in stereo. Then I added another reverb to get back some stereo information and afterwards I cleaned up the sound again with some EQ. Underneath this guitar there is a pad which sounds like this. And this is the same pad I used in the drop. The last sound of the intro is this bass. It's a silent one preset and I actually saw Alan Walker using this bassline in one of his tracks. I thought it sounded amazing so I used it as well. When the vocal starts the same three sounds are playing but I added a low pass filter to the guitar to make some room for the vocal. We used to hide on the covers, serenade each other with careless melodies. Finally I added some drums which sounds like this. And that's basically it. This is how I made my play remix. I hope you learned something from this and if you have any more questions left, ask them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. You can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook at LMNT Music and if you want to listen to the remix it is out now on Spotify as well so I will link it in the description. I have nothing more to say so I will see you in the next video.